Well, it's been a year since its conception, but finally we have the scratch art book, we have all of the originals hanging here, we had our big opening, and we're winding down. It's, it's been amazing to see the response. Uh, you know, we've got 1,500 to 2,000 hours of working on this wall. It's overwhelming to be around. It's really interesting to, to be standing here right now and to be able to like see the collection in its entirety. One of my favorite things about this project is how everyone had the same tools, but they all did their take on it. And that was kind of the concept. It was like, you know, any subject, any style, but one medium, one size. And one color source. The collection is really unified looking, which I really like. We were able to have this exhibition because of an invitation from our friend Derb Morrison, who puts on the successful Hell City Tattoo Expo in Columbus, Ohio. By providing us with the 1,600 square foot special events room at the convention, he gave us the chance to showcase the collection while having access to a large and appreciative crowd. Although the opening party was scheduled for Saturday evening, we opened the doors to the convention guests mid-Friday afternoon. Michelle and I both had some tattoo projects to take care of, and by the time we looked up again, a decent-sized crowd had gathered in the room, including some of our regular clients. Hi, I'm Mindy Murad. Um, I'm from Columbus, Ohio. I started getting tattooed by Michelle about six or seven years ago with the butterfly in the back of my neck. I always wanted to show it off, so I had to go on to the arms, and now uh, now I'm almost filled up. <laughs> so um, I really love Michelle's style because it really captures my personality. I'm a very colorful person. Uh, it matches all my outfits. My name's Phil Robertson. I've been tattooing six years. I uh, tattoo here in Columbus, Ohio. I have a very nice collection with a chest piece. Everyone's jealous of that. Uh, it's basically fine art on my skin. And then I have a piece from Michelle. It's a crazy looking koi fish. Very artsy. I like it a lot. My name's Peter Stauber. Uh, you know, this is the piece that I got from uh, Guy and Michelle. I'm a musician and sound engineer, and uh, basically it's a biomech piece that fits my body. Uh, pretty much interprets kind of how I feel visually about the music that I do. I got my first tattoo from Michelle. It was my right leg, uh, top of my feet up to my knee. Um, to me, the tattoo just symbolizes uh, a visual reminder that no matter what happens in life, things are going to be okay, and there's always going to be fresh new life and new growth. Then my left leg is uh, for my daughter. She is five years old, name's Olivia. Her name is in the crystal a couple times. Then my arm is one of Michelle's photographs that I really liked, it's called Liquid Machine. She uh, placed the Mandela in the middle and then the Liquid Machine is, is around it. Upstairs on the main floor of the convention, dozens of the tattoo industry's best known artists worked on their projects with the room filled with the cacophony of sounds that only a crowded convention can produce. On the artist stage, a group of seven tattooists worked on a series of art fusion collaborative performance drawings. Anthony Tortorello from Chicago, Illinois. I'm here doing some photography and documenting the El City Tattoo Convention for Guy Atchison and Michelle Wartman, and also doing it for Tattoo Magazine. Contacted Guy about an original design. It was my first tattoo. He tattooed a half sleeve of mine, which is this whole planetary theme kind of couldn't stop from there. Went ahead and finished a sleeve, did a complete rib panel, did my other arm. I'm trying to come here, hopefully bring a little bit of freshness and a little different twist as far as photography and documenting the tattoo scene. One of my main reasons of being here. I'm Nathan Costeco, I'm from California. Got some weird biomech on me from at Carson Hill, who's actually heavily tattooed from Guy Atchison. He's one of our hugest influences, and this is basically where this came from, seeing his work, just freaking out on it. It really makes Carson excited to see that Guy appreciates what he's doing, and I'm sure Guy's getting inspired from what everybody is taking from him. You know, we're creating this weird world of biomech, and it just looks good. That's what's so rad about bioorganics and biomechanical. People ask me what it is, it goes for looking at. That's all it is. Can everybody hear me in the back? On Saturday afternoon, I gave a free seminar that was open to both artists and collectors. Anyway, the purpose of this talk we're giving today is uh, about tattoo artists working in additional mediums. I'm going to be showing a few different people's work, including my own. There's a lot of reasons why uh, a tattooist might want to, to explore other mediums. Uh, part of it is the client limitation. 
sometimes you just want to do something and not have to worry about if it's going to make anybody happy. Really the whole point is to get away from the, the confines of, of being in a, a client-artist relationship. As early evening arrived, the convention continued to get more crowded. Once my seminar was finished, we had only an hour or so before the scratch art opening party was scheduled to be announced on the main floor. First, though, we ran upstairs to catch a fire dance performance that our friend Ryan was giving. For his segment, he was using one of Michelle's songs from her latest CD. We'd never seen him perform before, but had heard great things and were excited to see what he would do. I really love electronic music. I've always loved it since the first time I ever heard it. Writing music gives me a chance to participate in something that I enjoy listening to. Sun Channel is my musical project. When I write music, it's pretty much an organic process. I uh, just kind of channel what I'm feeling and see what comes out of it. I enjoy building sound. I enjoy layering, much in the same way that I enjoy layering a painting or layering a tattoo. I've just completed a new CD. It's called Prism. It, uh, really showcases a lot of uh, where I'm going musically. It's kind of like a soundtrack for the creative mind. And I'm really excited to get it out there and hear what other people think about it. Before we knew it, our big opening exhibition had officially kicked off. This is a big deal to us since we'd worked on so many aspects of the project since it began a year prior. The scratch art medium is a compelling and versatile art form which really allows the individual artist to find their own personalized look with their work. Like with tattooing, the hand of the artist affects the look of each piece as much as the subject does. Since the tattoo profession consists of such a diverse group of skilled artists, the project was virtually guaranteed to produce a dynamic and memorable body of artwork. Soon would come the task of preparing for the second and final scratch art exhibition to be held at the Canvas LA Gallery on July 19th. For the time being though, we were happy to wind down and enjoy the rest of the opening party with our friends and clients. My name is Echo and I'm a client of Michelle Wortman. I have matching shoulder caps. I think Michelle is an amazing artist. I never imagined that I would actually have tattoos in my arms until I met her and realized how feminine and soft they could be. Hi, I'm Charity McGuire, and my sleeves are by Michelle Wortman, and it's a pleasure to be tattooed by her. To walk around in beautiful colors and be a woman and be tattooed, and to see the different impression that people have of me because I have beautiful tattoos is really amazing. And I feel like she's making a big change in the tattoo community about how it's viewed, and especially being a heavily tattooed woman. I'm proud. We definitely felt like the show went over well with the crowd, and the book seemed destined to be a success. The weekend had also given us a chance to be better prepared for the July show in California, and gave us all kinds of ideas for other future events. We were excited to be able to, to have this room that, that Derb provided for us. Uh, of course, he wanted to be able to accommodate the scratch art, but we also had this amazing opportunity to show some of our own stuff and put up all these prints, you know, show our books, uh, and Michelle has a new CD. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. I can't believe it. I've got some headphones out, people have been listening to music. I've been hearing a lot of positive response about it, and, you know, stoked, totally stoked. It was great to see the response to these paintings, too. People loved those. I'm really, really happy to see how they turned out. I feel like it reflects my interest and brings them all together from a painter to a tattooist back to a painter. And a photographer. And a, photographer. And a right. computer geek. And a love for uh, beautifully tattooed women, definitely. <laughs>